You're welcome. Hello, everyone. My name is Sam Zing. I'm the CEO co-founder of DeepHow. DeepHow is the first AI solution for skill trades, learning, and training. So in the background, you can see a picture of a brand new factory. Hundreds of robots are busy assembling cars. But these robots were made by people like Bill and John. Bill is a master technician, has spent many years on the shop floor to build up his experience. John is an apprentice. Like other millennials, he grew up with no production skills. He also learns very differently. He doesn't like to go through lengthy apprenticeship training. He doesn't like to read paper, boring, static instructional manuals or technical documents. Instead, if he wants to learn anything, he would prefer to go to YouTube to look for how-to videos. Bill is retiring soon. And in US alone, 3.6 million of bills are retiring every year. And their knowledge is not effectively captured and transferred to younger generations like John. On one hand, in US manufacturing, there are almost 7 million jobs out there looking for people with the right skill. And there are also millions of young people that are looking for jobs and because they don't have the necessary required skill. So this is a serious skills gap and that really inspired us to create our company, DeepHow. The core of our solution is an AI system called Stephanie. Our AI Stephanie actually works in a very straightforward manner. First step, capture experts' know-how and workflow. As expert Bill is doing the work AI Stephanie can capture you know, his workflow and know-how via video. And then all this information will go to the second part, we call workflow analysis. We're using the latest artificial intelligence technology, such as natural language processing, and also image analysis, computer vision, reinforcement learning, trying to extract useful workflow information from the video and turn that into, turn the complex workflow and into step-by-step -step workflow guidance. Very similar like the GPS that you are using every day. And then all this information will be saved to an online portal curated into the enterprise online portal. So John can log in anytime, anywhere to interact with Stephanie at, at his own pace. So I'm going to show you a quick architecture diagram. Again, it's very simple. As experts doing the job, we want to capture their know-how, not use document to write it down, because these are so-called know-how knowledge. And when you write it down, actually, it's very difficult to describe certain kind of skill to other people. Right? Can you imagine you want to write it down to teach another person to ride a bike? Actually, it's very difficult. So we want to capture that kind of richness. But more important is really the AI processing. And then all these information, and we present all these information back to the expert. And they can review and curate the content. Right? So unlike YouTube, a lot of contents are uncurated. And in our case, would be curated content for the enterprise. Of course, everything to the cloud. And as users are interacting with the system, we can also do workflow modeling. So then we can know, we can provide feedback to any learners. So that, I'll show you a quick your video to see. John logs in and selects a video. He sees all steps and picks one. To find an object, he can say, Stephanie, show me bleeder valve. And to find a task, he can say, Stephanie. here. Show me how to calibrate. Or to ask for more information. Go to Stephanie, show me diagram. Or to change a language, he can say, 
Stephanie, speak Spanish. Transportador S1 para el funcionamiento a la derecha. So with our unique solution, enterprise can effectively capture their experts' know-how and deliver engaging learning experience to any people within the enterprise. So how did this happen? So our founding team has two PhDs and one product guy. And we work at Siemens for many years, over a decade. And we have a proven track record of combining design, user experience design, business, and also technology to create products that users love. So we did many years in Siemens, and we know this is a big challenge actually any you know, industry and manufacturing are facing. And seeing this a good opportunity, and that's why we decided to stop Deep Power. And Siemens actually is really supporting us to make this as a service and available to everyone. So from our previous pilot project, we can already see so our unique solution really deliver a big ROI to our customer. So in working with Twitter, who is one of the largest car, car owner's manual publisher and workshop manual publisher, and from the, the pilot with them, we can see we can effectively improve 10 times of their current your process in documenting and digitize their know-how and certainly save them by more than 10 times of cost. And we can build up a knowledge repository and not know-how repository for the enterprise, and then we can re-accelerate the learning for any learner and also really, really good use experience. So we work with actually different market segments. Our focus is large enterprise. We're already doing pilot projects with four with their advanced manufacturing and reskilling people, upskilling people. Because with technology, a lot of new technology happening, everyone needs to be you know, retrained. Everyone needs to learn. So that's what we're working with now. We continue to work with Siemens and with many different business units. As I already mentioned, we're working with Tweddle and all these companies that are delivering the instruction you know, to people. We also work with small and medium-sized businesses and we also partner with those technical training institutions, these vocational schools. So the market size is enormous. These are data coming from the United States. So you can see there are tens of thousands of large manufacturers, and they're all facing these kind of challenges. And then, of course, there are a lot more small and medium-sized business. And it's interesting, and technical training in US in the past 20 years has been declining significantly. We have seen the trend happening in China as well. And even in Germany, right, apprentice training in the past is strong, but now uh, the past several years, the, the trend is declining. But we actually need more people with these kind of skills to, in order to re-boost the manufacturing So last year, our company was selected for Techstar, one of the top, the world's top uh, startup accelerator. So partner with Siemens at Next47. So we are really, really glad to learn from the manager, Ted. Think our team is one of the most improved team in, in the Techstar mobility history. And of course, people are very excited about the problem, a very challenging problem when trying to address here. And we're also very lucky to win some award. So just in January, in Detroit uh, Auto Show, and we won the Planet M Award from the Michigan State, and, and then presented by the governor and then lieutenant governor. And our company, actually strategically, we moved to Detroit, and because we want to be really close with our customer, and our current customer are in auto manufacturing, but of course, we can work with any people within your different your domain. Thank you very much. Siemens, ingenuity for life.